You may have heard of iStrive in recent years. It's a cloud provider, and what that means is they take your money and give you the cloud. Wait, that can't be right. Ah, oh, I see. Cloud storage. They give you cloud storage in exchange for your money. But does it live up to the hype? Is it worth your investment? Stick around as I break down the pros, cons, and everything you need to know about iStrive. iStrive is not a cloud storage giant like Google Drive. It launched back in 2019, which seems like forever in internet years, but in the real world, it hasn't been too long. This hasn't stopped it from becoming quite the buzz in recent years because of their generous lifetime plans and their approach to privacy and security, even going as far as making a controversial choice when it came to encryption. They didn't go with the industry standard, and there's a fascinating reason why. More on that later. So we're going to be pulling back the veil to see if iStrive is still worth it or not. We'll be scrutinizing the service based on the storage offered, unique features, ease of use, security and privacy, performance and speed, and pricing. We'll be assigning up to five points for each aspect and filling up this table as I go on. And then finally, we'll be revealing whether iStrive is worth it. And as always, I've added links for iStrive and other top cloud providers in that description box. Let's kick things off by talking about the most crucial aspect of any cloud storage provider, the actual storage itself. After all, that's what we're all here for, right? On the free plan, iStrive gives you 10 gigabytes of storage, but you can get up to 30 terabytes on their annual and monthly plans and 100 terabytes on the lifetime plan. The video editors among us would be happy to know that there is no file size limit on any of the plan. There is technically a limit since iStrive does use the XFS file system with a limit of 100 terabytes. Still, there's no way any of you routinely deal with files that large, and if you do, please get help. A generous 10 gigabytes on the free plan and no file size limit gives iStrive a five out of five in the storage aspect. Now that we've covered the basics of storage, let's dive into the features that iStrive brings to the table. iStrive has file versioning of up to 180 days, which means that iStrive stores past versions of your files, allowing you to completely restore them as long as you do so within 180 days. Let me tell you, this has been a serious lifesaver when I accidentally change a file or if there's something that I need to go back to. I cannot stress how much I love this feature. We also have file sharing to work with and iStrive gives you the option to protect these files with a password. You can also put on share timeout so your shared files stay shared for only as long as you want them to. On Windows, the desktop app allows you to mount your cloud storage as a virtual drive, allowing you to access your backed up files right from your operating system's native file manager. iStrive also has a built-in media viewer, allowing you to view pictures, preview PDFs and documents, and watch videos right from the web app. I have noticed though that the FPS on some videos seems to be a bit lower on the native player, but then everything goes right back to normal when I play from my computer. This only ever happens on the web app though, and mobile playback is completely fine. Not really sure what that's all about, but it's not a massive issue. Unfortunately though, iStrive doesn't offer much when it comes to collaborative tools, apart from file sharing, of course. There's no provision for real-time document editing or comments, which brings iStrive score from a five down to a three. All those features sound great, but how easy is iStrive to use? Well, I'm happy to report that iStrive has apps for all major platforms, and the layout is clean and intuitive, so you're not wasting time scrambling around trying to find where the devs hide all the features. It has drag and drop functionality, which is always nice to have iStrive also automatically syncs your files across devices, so you always have the most up-to-date version of your files, whether you're on your phone, laptop, or desktop. Because of how easy it is to use, there's virtually no learning curve, so even users who are new to cloud storage can quickly grasp how to upload, manage, and share files, which gives iStrive a 5 out of 5 in my book. No one else would be a 5 out of 5 in my book, liking this video and subscribing to the channel so you never miss a video. Top marks. iStrive is certainly user friendly, but what about keeping your data safe? Let's look at their security and privacy measures. iStrive is based in the EU, which means that they are GDPR compliant. What is that and why is it important? Well, GDPR stands for General Data Protection Regulation, which is essentially just a bunch of privacy laws enacted by the EU and gives you more control over your data nice of them. TLDR, you want any company that's handling your private information to be GDPR compliant and 
Ice Drive is. Ice Drive uses two-fish encryption instead of the more widely adopted AES encryption service. Even though AES is much more widely adopted, which you'd expect since AES is short for Advanced Encryption Standard and is much faster, Ice Drive chooses not to use it for a very interesting reason, which kind of makes sense. On their website, they say that AES is endorsed and supported by many surveillance agencies, so it's similar to a burglar advertising a lock that you plan on using for your house. But I want to know what you think of. Is iStrive just being paranoid about AES or not? Let me know in the comments. And so iStrive decided to scrap the AES and go with the closest alternative, which is just as secure and reliable. iStrive also offers client side and zero knowledge encryption, which is called crypto. And it means that your information is encrypted on your computer with a unique encryption key that only you know. And as a result, no one, not even iStrive themselves, can view your data after it's been encrypted. But be aware, if you lose this key, your data is gone. Never to be seen again. So please, please, please be sure not to do that. You can also choose the particular files that you want to be encrypted, leaving others unencrypted, which is kind of neat, I guess. iStrive is also very clear about the data they collect, like experience cookies, and they do not share any of this information with third parties. I know it's just a policy and it's not enforceable in any meaningful way, but it's better to have a clear privacy focused policy than not. So iStrive scores an easy five out of five for privacy. How does iStrive perform when it comes to uploading and downloading your files? Well, transfer speeds depend on a lot of things like your location and your internet service provider. So I can't predict what your experience would be. iStrive claims not to cap any bandwidth. And from my testing, I had no reason to doubt that. While I was using it, I never really had to wait for too long when transferring files. I did notice though that upload speeds were almost double the download speeds, but both remained consistent, never dipping too low or rising too high. Transfer of encrypted files on the web client has a bottleneck because encrypted files are transferred in four megabyte chunks, so the cap is at about four Mbps. Not a deal breaker, but it does take away one potential point, which leaves iFDrive with four points out of five when it comes to speed and performance. Now for the part of the video you've all been waiting for, how much will everything I've talked about so far cost you? Like I said earlier, iStrive's free plan gives you 10 gigabytes of storage. However, you can get 100 gigabytes on the light plan for $4.99 a month, one terabyte on Pro 1 for $7.99, or three terabyte on Pro 3 for $14.99. Initially, I thought the folks over at iStrive forgot that the number two existed, but then I realized that the plans were named after the amount of storage they had. Silly me. Anyway, all three plans come with yearly and two yearly plans that can help you save some money over time. iStrive also has lifetime plans that you pay for once and you keep the storage for life. For 299 bucks, you get 512 gigabytes. For 479 bucks, you get two terabytes. And for $1,199, you get 10 terabytes of cloud storage for life. If that's not enough storage, you can also pay an extra to stack more storage space onto your lifetime plan. 79 bucks for an extra 128 gigabytes, 199 for an extra 512 gigabytes, it's $399 for two terabytes. I wasn't able to find out if there's a limit to how many stacks you can add to a lifetime plan, but I'm like 60% sure there is. There has to be, right? Google Drive, Dropbox, and Sync.com all stick to monthly or yearly subscriptions, but Sync.com is more budget friendly with two terabytes for $8 per month. And they even offer unlimited plans for businesses. PCloud also has lifetime plans, which you can get for a discount using our special link down below. Anyway, the subscription plans are pretty reasonable, but the true stars of the show for pricing are the lifetime plans, giving it a whopping five out of five for pricing and an impressive 27 points out of 30 overall. All in all, I've decided that as long as you don't plan to use it for any team projects that require on-cloud editing, iStrive is a very solid option. Not the best though, so if you want to find out which cloud service provider is the best, check out this video.